does the job of shutting down Flutie. Big play, second and ten. And McManus stripped of the ball. Seth Dittman gets on it, the left tackle. And then just beats Kodak. He just knocks the arms down. He knocks him down, gets around him. Strips the ball. 16 yards the game for the Stampeders. Randall is hammered from behind. the spot and the X is on the back of Marcus Crandall because here he comes. Pow! Watch this one by Donaldson. He's got the pump fake on that one and he just gets rocked on that play. There's some players who are just playing this game and all they're thinking about is the West Final. But you got to get to this one first. First down, Moss in trouble. Doug Brown got him. Stripped the ball. might not be happy is it Winnipeg ball here's Joseph on the straight run to the outside the Joe Morgan the safety comes up you see him hit and just before Kerry Joseph could get that thing loaded up to throw it out of bounds he was hitting Mike Pringle and makes this first and 20 and the heat was on the ball squirts loose and the Eskimos have fumbled it he had his first sack as a bomber versus the Ottawa Renegades the play was sent to the league. He was in a combination tackle with Tom Canada, much like he was right there. But Brock Ruff went down. Oh! Moss goes down. Lost the ball. And the Bombers come up with it. It's a quarterback, and the Winnipeg Blue Bombers catch a break. And boy, do they desperately need one right now. There have been times. Harry Jones stands in, and this time it's on the turf, and the Bombers are all around the ball. Who our Bomber fans, remember, are going to love this start for Kahari Jones. He had trouble with the snap from center on the first down, and then on second down, the ball is knocked out of his hand. Protest made by the Calgary Stampeders at a cost of $5,000. And it was turned down by the CFL as the ball squirts loose on the tackle on Kahari Jones. Should be the last play of the game. Critters looking to the end zone and he can't get it away as the Bombers force the fumble. And the second and three, Butler, pressure again, steps up and drops the ball. Butler trying to pounce on it, it still loose. Hot potato, Baron Simpson's got it. And Simpson is finally dead. Press it out for the Argos. Oh, look out. A ball is alive. Gavin Wall is finally on it, and they're really going to fumble and bomber football. Last year, second and 15, puts her again, falls out, bombers are on it. Tom Canada's got it after Cam Hall came clean off the end. Opening quarter dominated by the Blue Bombers. Big down here for the Tie Cats. Have to move the sticks. Quarter again, can't find anybody. He's dropped, he fumbles it again. Winnipeg has it, and he has a touchdown, Lenny Walls. And you can hear the Blue Birds here in Hamilton. And looking at second and eight. Steps up again. Oh, and Willis strips the ball loose. And they'll pile up. Let's see who's got it. it looks like this might be Winnipeg's ball. It is. It's Doug Brown who recovers it. Ticked under five minutes remaining. Logan stays on the corner. And Kevin Brown is nailed. That ball came loose. And it looks like Winnipeg's got it. Is that Donnie Oramassian with the football? Hunt gets 
to the quarterback. 15 yard run for Burris. And now in trouble. And Paul Strip to the Bombers. Looks like they may have got out of Odell Willis, knocked it out of the hands of Henry Burris, and the Bombers come up with it. Now it looked like Henry Burris wanted to try and throw that ball away. He's holding it up there for Willis to swat at it. <laughs> Second and seven, big rush. They knock it out of his hands. It's loose. And it's a real pack touchdown. Joe Lopendon. Lined up perfectly. Executed his assignment. And the execution outstanding for the bar. Dangerous offense. Could be the final play of the quarter. Calvillo looked down. The ball is loose. Doug Brown bounces on it. And the Winnipeg Blue Bombers will have the ball to open the second quarter of play. To 10. And a pump. Pressure. Ball knocked out of his hand. Is on line. Bombers trying to get it. And they do. Odell Willis. Oh, the Bomber defense does it again. 33 seconds to go. And Bill, look out. He gets smacked by Winnipeg. Done. Four pointer. Play action. Look out. Ricky Ray. Down he goes. Loose ball. Patrick. It's Jason Barnes tonight. You're likely going to see Stan stolen. Ricky Ray fumbles it. He's hammered. Ball loose. Edmonton recovers. Bombers appear to have it back. They do. Well, JT Gilmore got in there and knocked the ball loose, it looked like. And Andre Carroll has it. And Big so boy. the Bombers, who turned the ball over eight times in the loss last week for Calgary, have forced Toronto into three turnovers. Second and ten. Popping the left, the ball is down. And on it is Zach Anderson and the Winnipeg Blue Bombers have the football it should be before the game that today was the day second down and Lule on the move Alex Hall in pursuit knocks the ball away still loose and well, the Bombers on it they had a shot at it it is Winnipeg football J JT Gilmore comes up to the bottom of the pile with the football in his hands this time but tremendous speed from Alex well, the Eskimos in second and long once again. Second and 20. And Riley hit. Ball came loose and the Bombers have it. Bryant Turner's got the football. And that front four forcing a turnover. Second and 10. Ball loose. It'll be picked up back there. And it's Marcus Henry on the run. Converge on Bo Levi Mitchell. Throwing down, second and ten. Blake Lock comes down to five. Here comes the heat. Masoli out of the pocket, and he fumbles. Loose ball. The Bombers get it back, it looks like. Winnipeg football. Masoli flushed out of the pocket. And up with it is Euclid Cummings. Masoli, deep drop. win this game tonight from the Winnipeg 27 Masoli again in trouble fumbled and recovered by Winnipeg Jake Thomas flashbacks the play can't see what Glenn is doing and now Glenn is stripped the ball comes loose and did Glenn get it back he's at the bottom of the pile in the red zone and first down at the 14 pressure on Jennings Pelot Bassett pursuit 
and Jennings makes the tackle, but Mo Leggett knocked it loose. Bass scoops it up, and it's another takeaway. Polaris now has to scramble, lost the ball. Free ball here. Pass have to jump on it. Once again, Zach Polaris running for his life. Stay on the field, send six receivers out. Look out, Buckley hit, ball is loose. Opalugo scoops it up and takes off, and he's going to score. Tristan Opalugo, the second defensive touchdown of the night for Winnipeg. It's a 51-yard major. I think it was Ian Wild coming off the backside, unblocked on the blitz. No chance for Andrew Buckley to see this. Long time between big plays for Ian Wild. Behind the scenes and Mike up. James Franklin's going down. Fumble football, and the Bombers have it. Sack, strip, fumble, recovery. Second and 14. Masoli's calling his own number. Fumble football. Winnipeg football. Craig Rowe. Easy pickings. It falls incomplete. Second down. Manziel in trouble again. There's a sack for Jake Thomas. Four sacks here in the first half for the Blue Bombers. They've been tough to beat ever since, but the Bombers seem to have answers. Riley hit again. And that ball loose. They really got a fumble. Kevin Fox got it. And Fogg is dropped. But Riley was in the throwing motion. No argument here, but will be reviewed by the command center on any turnover. And it looks like that's the fifth of the night. Here it comes off the edge. Look out, fumble football. Adam Big Hill scoops it up. Big Hill still on his feet. Spins down near the 45. Blindsided with Zach Kolaros. Fumbled the football. And a turnover filled game. Second and 11 here. Comes pressure. Ball is out. And Evan Johnson will get on it. Hitters, the intermediate stuff moving the pocket around. Another big second down here. Bethel Thompson back to pass. Oh my goodness for Argo fans. As Jefferson gets to him, coughs up the football. Winnipeg ball. Second and five. Think to White. Knocked out of Riley's hands. Gets back on it. But that's Craig Rowe, the former BC Lion. Second and 12. And Riley, ball knocked out. Sacked again. So the 10 yard penalty makes it second to three. They empty it out and it's knocked out of the hands of Harris. Ball still alive. And who's on it? It looks like Kyrie Wilson has got it for Winnipeg. Look at Jefferson again. And he does knock the ball loose. Man. And he's going to get booted into the end zone. Reese for it here. And it's going to be knocked out by Tavon Smith. That's going to be a safety. Dribble the ball forward. Early on the field was a fumble by Edmonton. It was kicked into goal by Winnipeg. And out of bounds after touching a Winnipeg, uh, an Edmonton player, excuse me. The result of the play is a single point. Pichardo, nobody there is hammered. Ball loose. Who's got it? It's Blue Bomber football. Willie Jefferson and that Bomber front. Feasting today. Spying a screen. You heard him. Second and seven. And Adams is set. It's a scoop and score. A grab and go. Kyrie Wilson touchdown. And the onslaught in Montreal continues. Call on the field by the official. Oh, it's a first down at the 40. Here comes the rush again. And they get him the ball down. And still loose. And a big hill's got it. Inside the 15, the rush of the Bombers getting to Evans on back-to-back -back plays, and it's the second consecutive takeaway. Pycat start at the 43. Look out, Willie Jefferson. Strip. Ball loose. And it looks like Chiracco got back on it. Take a look at the right side, though. The big swim move, getting that right hand and arm up and over, and then around the corner to Dane Evans. Strips the ball one more time. 
top. Led with six forced fumbles during the regular season. Two today. And Evans. Another step knocked out of his hands by Jackson Jeffco. The bookends on back to back plays. Touchdown, short kick, touchdown. That's all they need. The pressure on Arbuckle. And he loses the football. It's knocked away. I believe it was Jeffco. Jackson Jeffco with the pressure. And that's it. Tenacious hustle. From the Argos in front of this home crowd for the first time in a long time. Arbuckle pressure coming down. He's going to go to his right. He's hammered down. Ball pops loose and it's going to be scooped up and brought down the left side. This could go all the way back to the house. And it will touch down. Argos. <laughs> Bombers rather. As Briggs scoops it up and nobody was going to get to him. And Jesse Briggs untouched, 80 yards. Well, unblocked man coming off the, the back side. Arbuckle feels it coming, but just can't accelerate away from it fast enough. Terrific strip there. Arbuckle and this Toronto offense that started extremely well, looking to get back at it again. Arbuckle here, Jefferson's all over, knocked the ball loose. But Arbuckle reaches out with his left hand and calls it in after he was taken down by Willie Jefferson. Arbuckle thought he was going to be off to the races here as Jefferson took that step up field, but... Second and nine, back up on their own four here. Big Hill looked like he was going to bring some pressure, backs off Cornelius with a ton of time. Steps up into the pocket, he's in trouble, it's batted away, picked up by Big Hill, and he's going to push it in! Is he in? He is! Touchdown, Adam Big Hill! He didn't tuck the ball under his arm. He kept it out there as if he was still trying to pass. So let's see who got there. Willie Jefferson from behind. Willie Jefferson isn't going to stay quiet for long. So with the completion, it's up to the Saskatchewan 29. The pressure is coming! Willie Jefferson has it! You call it the bomber heat defensively. <laughs> Away they went because she had earned that respect. Pajardo under pressure. Jefferson gets the ball popped loose, and Jeff Coat is on it. And Jefferson and Jeff Coat strike again. Those are two games. Take a look at Trey Ford. Cornelius fumbles as he's hit from behind. Winnipeg's on it again. Second and ten on the Winnipeg 43. Four man pressure, they get through the line, work on the run, bubbles the ball, bombers hop on it and take over. At the Winnipeg 44, here it comes by three with the blitz coming. And the Thompson runs out of time. Strip sack. He goes down, ball comes out, bombers say they have it, and they do. First turnover, the Grey Cup. It goes Winnipeg's way. 